me Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say you're looking like a gift for me What's up besties? It's your girl Lena G back with another video. If y'all new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Click that subscribe button. So today as y'all seen from as y'all seen from that video title this was a highly requested video y'all been dying to know y'all just been kind of wanting more explanation on it and me to kind of give my back end story of like my childhood how i grew up am i adopted am i not do i know my biological parents is my mom really my mom question mark so today i'm gonna be going all i'm gonna be going over all of that to the best that i can for it to make sense obviously i really wish i could have did this like with my mom you know just like to have another person here to i don't know <laughs> like butt in <laughs> but i'm gonna just do it by myself i was supposed to do it here when my mom had came and visited texas but you know i'm gonna just open up to y'all a little tell you guys a little bit more how i grew up um and what my life was like when i was a kid because i feel like we all have a testimony we all have our own story we all have come from crazy backgrounds or have you know we're just all different so i think it's cool to hear somebody else's story so i'm gonna tell y'all my story and a little bit about it so the first question is obviously am i adopted i am not adopted <laughs> i'm not adopted um and the mom that i y'all see that i call my mom lisa mom lisa she is my mom but she's not my biological mother so she didn't give birth to me but she's all i've known like my whole life like since i was like three four years old um she played mom and dad to be honest if i'm being real so you know when i was like three four whatever my biological father my father mike his name is mike he got married to lisa which is my quote-unquote stepmom but i don't call her that because that's my mom so they got married and then you know <laughs> my dad ended up getting custody of me from my biological mother her name is suedi and he got custody of me just for the simple fact that honestly i don't know all the details because i it's like word of mouth really i'm hearing what he said what her said what third person said so really from my understanding was i was just being with my father was going to be a better home placement for me you know my mother my biological mother she had other kids um you know she had other stuff going on so i completely understand that and my dad was the better fit for me and that's what the court ordered so that's what happened now when i was younger you know like the court had ordered visitations and stuff but like i said my biological mother at the time she wasn't completely there i feel like she wasn't able to you know i don't know what it was because truthfully like i wasn't there to say that you know kind of like going off what i've heard from her what i've heard from my dad and things of that nature but basically core core visitation stopped so i stopped seeing my mom completely and i think it was a decision that i had made within myself because there was times where she was missing like our visitations and i remember being sad and stuff like that but like i said i don't truly truly know how deep and why she was doing that you know so i'm not person to like before we even get deeper into this video i want to say that i have forgiven um her and i have moved past all this but this is just my story to tell and this is what i know this is how i took it so there's no hard feelings at all when i'm telling this story there's no like hatred i have i have no hatred i've never had hatred um obviously as a kid i was sad and stuff and confused and didn't know why but as i got older i was just like you know things happen life happens it is what it is type of situation um so yeah when i was younger we had court visitations i remember she would always miss them and then uh, we had house visitations where i would come and i would be at her house for like a couple of days i remember i went to florida one time with her and i didn't have a good experience um and i think it was after the florida trip my dad had got me and that's when all communication with her completely stopped and i think that was through the court but again i'm not so sure i think that could have been of like just my own experiences and what i was telling them was happening and they just thought it was the best decision for that case and situation that far as that uh you know i had a father he was my blood father and he's a good man but you know he he um he was an alcoholic like my whole entire life so like he wasn't really mentally there he wasn't like a father figure he wasn't really like he was in the house with us like you know like he was there but i didn't have like a father-daughter bond with him like 
he really didn't want to talk to me to be honest. <laughs> like he used to say like I remind him of my biological mother and you know I'm gonna just turn out just like her and all this other stuff. So yeah so like me and his relationship growing up was really not good. Like he did stuff for the family but he just wasn't like he just wasn't there and I guess like the excuse was that he didn't have a father he didn't have a mother he didn't know how to do neither one which i get because he grew up hard but still like love your kid <laughs> um no so yeah so like he wasn't there for me at all like emotionally um you know like a father is supposed to be he wasn't there for me i didn't feel like he was my protector i didn't feel protected by him i was m more so honestly like mentally abused by him um yeah like i just wasn't he just wasn't like a good father to me like at all and we lived in the same house like he was there but he never really interacted with like me my sister my mom lisa my mom the woman he married um so you know my mom she stepped up you know like she was my stepmom but she realized like the situation i guess we were in and was like you know like she was mom and dad she went to all school stuff he never went um she made sure you know i mean he would give money and stuff but she was the one who was like giving us the love the feeding us the taking us out to the park and doing stuff with us and like you know like we grew up in a really hostile like house like we weren't allowed to do certain stuff like we weren't allowed to be too loud we weren't allowed to be in the living room we weren't allowed to sit in the kitchen and talk too loud and laugh like that's to be honest the kind of household i grew up in um just from like my father's kind of say so and stuff like that but you know with her being there she she stood with him for 14 years and the 14 years that she was with him i would say majority of the years she didn't want to be with him no more but she stood with him because of me and because he's the one who had custody of me so if she was to leave him i would have to stay with him and she didn't want to do that to me because of just the situation like it just wasn't a good situation my biological mother wasn't able to care for me and i unfortunately didn't have any other family and she didn't want to do that because she loved me and i was her daughter and she didn't want to leave without me and I remember I used to tell my mom all the time, like, girl, leave him, let's go, let's sneak out. Like, I used to be one of those, like, why don't you just leave him, he's so me. <laughs> like, I'm talking about my own father, y'all. Yeah, so then, you know, obviously a lot more stuff happened in between, like, that time span, which is, like, really more deeper and stuff. And I feel like maybe one day if I get super, super duper into it, like, I would want to, like, interview my dad interview my birth giver interview my mom just go more into detail why what made you like all this other stuff but so you know later on i feel like it was my senior year of high school i was 17 it was my senior year i was 17 um my mom she was finally sick of it she was just sick of dealing with him sick of his meanness all that we literally packed up all our stuff in bags and we left while he was at work we left we went to her friend's house and they ended up getting a divorce now like it was a real big commotion he wasn't happy yada 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 like we he, she stole his kids da, 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 da. but to be fair like he wouldn't been able to take care of us at all because he just was not there as a person um so then we had gotten into our own apartment me her my sister and i remember this was like the best time of my life like when we had gotten to this apartment just us three i remember i just felt so free i felt so like happy i was free it was like when i tell you i grew very like hostile like i grew up in a very verbally abusive household like very hostile like could he like you're walking around stepping on like rocks and glass like it was crazy so when we had just us three like the girls um it just felt free like i remember we just walk around and like our panties and stuff like we were just so happy i remember that was a really 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 good time in my life obviously i had went to college my mom she had met her her husband because they're married now congratulations um but she had met him around 2017 right before i turned 18 and i had went to college i moved to college on campus and she moved with him and then you know a little time later they ended up buying a house together and that's that story <laughs> that was like a very quick 
sum up of the situation but really that's how it is i just ended up living with her like she was just i always say she was like my guardian angel she always kept me safe she's still by my side for a lot of long time like she's still with my father for a long time even though she didn't want to be so i would say like i feel blessed to have her like i'm the woman i am because of her watching her handle everything that she handled i feel like she's a very very strong woman and i'm thankful that you know like i'm thankful that they did get custody of me because if my life was a different way i wouldn't be who i am i wouldn't have the traits that i have i wouldn't have had the life opportunities that i've had i wouldn't have the mindset that i had you know i would have been a whole different completely different version and i truly don't know if it would have been for good or bad um i probably would have been <laughs> raising half my siblings because my biological mom she has about six kids she has six kids and i would have been the oldest out of all of them so i know i would have probably been you know that's all it is like when you're the oldest you kind of like in charge of your siblings like i feel like when the person isn't really there and like i said in the beginning you know i am in contact with her and stuff when i was like maybe 16 17 i feel like 18 i don't know uh i contacted her and we had went back and forth and i was just telling her like everything i felt and you know as a kid growing up you just truly don't understand because when i was like three to four years old i didn't understand then and then it's like you're hearing one thing from somebody when in reality you don't know the truth you don't know what drove somebody to do something. You don't know what they were going through in their life, what they've been. And you know, when I had talked to her and stuff, like I just forgave her because at the end of the day, like I said, I feel like I still ended up in a better situation. So I'm forever thankful for that. And I feel like I wouldn't have wanted my life to go any other way. This is why I say I'm like a very strong individual just because of like the things that I've endured, like living with my dad and stuff like that. And just, just life situations, like it just makes you a strong person. I wouldn't have wanted it any different way. But yeah, like I'm cool with her. I've seen her like a couple of times, you know, I had went one time to Thanksgiving, you know, to, I really wanted to connect more so with my siblings because I'm like, damn, got all these siblings and I don't really know none of them. I only, only was cool with one of them and he was like, it was me, him, and then the other ones were born. So yeah, I really had connected with her to be closer to my siblings, but I'm only close to one of my sis sisters and her name is Nani. Yeah, yeah, so I have no hard feelings to her. Like I said, I talk to her occasionally, like we're cordial. It's, it doesn't feel like, I don't feel anything towards the situation. I just feel there's some things I'd be wanting to know obviously about her. Obviously I look like you, like I got some of your traits and stuff like that, like physical wise. But she had told me about like, you know, what she went through as a kid and what she was dealing with at that time. and. I understand and I forgive and I feel that's all that matters. That's a little bit about my childhood. You know, I know a lot of people be like, what? You know, at least it's not your real mom. Like she, you guys look like, everybody has always said that my whole entire life that we look alike, that we resemble each other. We always just went with it. We're like, yeah, like, does she birth me like she always calls me her easy baby <laughs> i was her easy one because she didn't really have to like push me out my mom was my guardian angel and i'm forever grateful for her for everything and you know like i said there's no hard feelings like i forgive my father for even everything he did and was <laughs> That's just who I am as a person. But I feel like that was like short, simple, cute, kept it, you know, simple for you guys to understand because if I would've been really, really deep, it would've just been kind of like messy and confusing. And I don't want to be messy and confusing. I just kind of wanted to tell my story and like how I grew up and who was who and if I was adopted or not. But you know, I always said I did want my mom to adopt me just so she can like legally be my guardian, even though I'm like a grown ass adult, but still. That would be cute. But anyways, like the video, subscribe. Hope this gave you guys a little more insight of who I am as a person. And kind of like my back end story. And maybe one day I'll like have like a whole series on like going back to like where I grew up. And talking to my dad and my birth giver and all that stuff. But like the video, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below.